Hello children. Today in mathematics for standard 4 we are going to learn a new topic geometrical figures. In that we are going to learn about angles. In this picture we can see angles between the ground and the slide. In the next picture we can see the ladder makes an angle with the ground. Here in this picture also we see angles between the tree trunk and its branches. Here in this picture there is an angle between the electric pole and the ground. So what is basically an angle? Suppose a point is given to us. We draw two rays. They are known as the arms of an angle and the point is known as the vertex. Normally, we measure an angle with the help of protractor which starts from 0 degrees and ends at 180 degrees and this is the center point in the geometrical terms this is also known as a d now there are different types of angles right angle acute angle obtuse angle if you see this picture a right angle between two adjoining sides of a window is formed if you see this book two adjacent sides of a book make a right angle in a clock at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock the minute hand and the hour hand are at right angles to each other so we shall understand about them in detail acute angles are less than 90 degrees obtuse angles are greater than or more than 90 degrees and right angles are 90 degrees Now we shall learn how to measure these angles on a protractor right angle. We start from 0 degrees and we stop at 90 degrees. So this is a right angle. If you see the example on a clock there also a 90 degrees angle is formed that is a right angle. An acute angle We start from zero degrees, and it is less than ninety degrees. So here it measures forty degrees angle. If you see on the clock over here also, it has formed an acute angle, which is less than ninety degrees. Obtuse angle. We start from zero degrees, and it is more than ninety degrees, or greater than ninety degrees. So here it is formed a one fifty degrees angle. So it is an obtuse angle. If you see on the clock over here also, an obtuse angle is formed. Now we shall solve an exercise. Observe the figures given below and tell which is a right angle, an acute angle, and an obtuse angle. Yes, this is less than ninety degrees, so it is an acute angle. This is ninety degrees, so it is a right angle. This is more than ninety degrees, so it is an obtuse angle. 
yes even this is more than 90 degrees so it is an obtuse angle and this is less than 90 degrees so it is an acute angle I hope so you have understood what is an angle and what are the different types of angles and how to measure an angle now we shall learn about circle now if you see here in the picture we have different objects which are in the circular format like the coin a cartwheel a bicycle wheel football bangle sun pizza full moon and many more in a circle there are different parts of a circle a center radius diameter chord now we shall learn about them in detail center in the figure a is the center of the circle the point at which these lines meet each other is the center of the circle radius a line joining from the center of the circle to any point on the circle is called a radius so your ap is the radius of the circle radius is a half of the diameter diameter a line joining any two points on the circle passing through the center is called diameter diameter passes through the center of the circle diameter is also a longest chord of the circle your mn is the diameter chord a line joining any two points on the circle is called the chord of the circle in the figure line mn is the chord so a chord doesn't pass through the center of the circle but it joins two points on the circle now we shall learn about the geometrical figures the vertex and sides of a rectangle square triangle rectangle a rectangle has four edges that is four sides the points where the two sides meet is the vertex in the figure a b c d are the vertices a b b c c d a d are the sides of the rectangle opposite sides are equal in length so rectangle is called as right angle quadrilateral square a square has four vertices and four sides p m s r are the vertices of square all the sides of the square are equal in length and all its angles are right angles triangle triangle has three vertices and three sides y r l are the vertices of this triangle y r r l y l 
are three sides of the triangle a triangle has three angles i hope so you have understood this lesson and enjoyed watching the video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next video bye bye